What's up, YouTubers? Roughsack here, bringing you another random car commentary. Yes, and today's gameplay that I will be bringing you, or that you can see on the screen, is a bit of domination on Dome, I believe, and I'm running the USAS, which I've been trying to get up, um, leveled up, trying to get up, been trying to level up um, to get damage and extended mags, all that, and I actually, because I hadn't been playing... Uh, Modern Warfare 3 very much, uh, I sort of forgot about it, so um, I equipped it up, and I think this is the game that gets me over the line, so I'm running, I believe, the red dot sight and range, and that's all, and I've got, as my backup, Akimbo Scorps, which I do love, and yeah, we're running the support package too, because when I play games like this, I play the objective, yes, I PTFO, on COD, and I die a hell of a lot because, yeah, well, that's what happens when you're near a flag and people are randomly shooting in there and lobbing nades and all sorts of stuff. I'm also, you'll also see that I'm running the smoke and the bouncing Betty to good effect. Um, smoke up a flag, get in there, drop a Betty, you've got some protection then, and we're basically working the B flag for pretty much most of the game because that's pretty much the most central. Uh, my central point on this map from uh, from my experience and if you can control B you'll pretty much control your own flag as well and you'll see that all happening here in this game anyway what's this random car commentary about well it's about me going pro that's right you heard it rough sacks pro pro gamer you thinking what the fuck I'm watching this guy on the screen you can't aim for shit he fucking, he plays on pretty shit sensitivity, although it's one step up from what it was before, be thanks to my uh, CQC control freaks, nice little plug there for them. Um, yeah, I'm pro. Well, what, what is a pro gamer? Well, you know, that gets thrown around, the term gets thrown around a lot about, you know, players that are really good are pro players. Well, yes, I'm, I'm sure that pro gamers are actually good players, otherwise they... Uh, wouldn't be sponsored and getting paid to play, but that's really that's really the crux of it. That's what a pro gamer is. A professional gamer. A professional gamer is a person get gets paid to play. And uh, essentially, being a postman, great little job that it is. On average, I would say one day a week. On average, there may be some weeks where it happens all the time. There'll be weeks when it doesn't happen at all. But on average, one day a week, I will be home before my rostered shift, which means I'm still getting paid. So like like today, right now, I'm getting paid to talk to you. So I'm making YouTube monies. I'm not really, but I'm getting paid to make a fucking YouTube video by my workplace. They wouldn't be happy about it. But you know what? I've done my job. Not much they can say or do. So yeah, I'm a professional gamer today. I'm going to be going home, I'm going to be uh, doing some editing, so I'm going to be getting paid to make YouTube videos like all the big boys do, and then I'm going to do some uh, gaming with one of my workmates who uh, finishes a lot earlier than I do, he also starts a lot earlier, but um, he had recently got a, a PS3 and I've been uh, hooking up with him and he plays Modern Warfare 3 and you know what, I'll play any game, especially if there's mates I can play with, you have a hell of a lot more fun. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go home, I'm going to get paid to play, I'm going to be professional, I'm going to be a professional gamer, I'm going to be sponsored by Australia Post, how good's that? I should have like a special logo or something on my, uh, on my Modern Warfare 3 little lingo fucking signage fucking shit, but anyway, there's another thing that I want to talk to you guys about, it wasn't just that, I didn't want to just make fun of all that bullshit and have a carry on, um, I want to talk about getting old as a gamer. And how funny it is when you jump online and you play against kiddies or college kids. I, actually, I think the college kids are worse. Um, they think to uh, that they've got it all. They've got the lifestyle. They're living it up, and they think that you're some uh, forty-year-old virgin living in your mother's basement, sipping cordial, peeing in your pants so you don't have to get off, and that you're fucking you're a ten-ton Tessie as well. Well, I laugh. I really laugh. So, I laugh at some of the really young kids, like the, you know, the squeaky voice ones, and it happens mainly on COD, I've got to say, it, it does, 
happen sometimes on other games. But COD, it's just absolutely rampant. And I think a lot of that attitude actually comes from uh, from some of the older gamers. Well, older gamers now, because back when we were a bit younger, we probably used to mouth off a little bit. And I'm sure if I was a young gamer and some old man gave it to me in the game, I'd want to tell him that he lived with his mum in his mum's basement, blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, I'd be pissed off and I wouldn't know how to handle it because I'd have no my, no brains. My, all my brain power would be in my penis, basically. Because at that age, when you're young, all your brain power's in your penis and you just can't think straight. Your penis, you basically have your penis touching your controller, your controller and your penis become one and that's all you think about is gaming and, you know, having sex, I guess, or masturbating, wherever it takes you. But anyway, I just thought it's funny. I actually made a comment on, I think it was Twitter and Facebook a few weeks back. And uh, it was about some kid carrying on about how I had no life. I said, it's funny how he told me that I had no life. Here I was, sitting in the house that I own, after working at my job, making my money, drinking my beer, playing my PlayStation on my big screen TV that I pay for with my money. Um, coming home to my beautiful wife, kids, and family, and um, having a few games. Yeah, that's no life. You know what? I think that's a pretty fucking good life, if you ask me. The best of all worlds. That's the way I like to look at it. And there's a lot of young kids out there that one day, they're going to be in our position, and I just hope... Well, in all honesty, I hope that the generations coming through have a more respect and a better attitude towards... Uh, their fellow older gamers, you know, see us as, uh, I don't know, as elders, and not just see us as, you know, no life, no hopers, you know, living in our mum's basements, because, you know, <laughs> there may be some people like that, but I'm telling you, most of the blokes that I know that game that are older, all have pretty full fucking lives, and I know a few, I know, I know one guy in particular, and he's, he's a very good example of, of, um, of life and how things can change. And that's my mate Merlin's gun. Now, I hope that he doesn't mind me talking about him here, but I just wanted to say quickly that um, I met Merlin through my YouTube, and he was really keen to get into making the whole videos. He thought it was quite cool. And, you know, I guided him along the path and gave him all the information that was handed down to me by um, other great YouTubers that, you know, that supported my interest in making YouTube videos. He got into making YouTube videos. His channel grew very quickly. And you know what? He had really good gameplay. He had fantastic commentary. Really, really got the voice for it. He speaks great. He was just absolutely awesome to listen to. But all the shit and the bullshit that goes on in YouTube absolutely destroyed him. It destroyed his enjoyment of what it was. Now, it's also very full on. And, you know, he's got young kids, and he's got a very full life. And I wouldn't be surprised if he felt that it was starting to deter a little bit from his family life. And that's what separates, really, the older gamers from the younger gamers. Because the younger gamers, they sit there and you hear their mums yelling at them. It's not all of them, but I'm just going to say the ones that win and carry on. Um, you know, get off, you got to get off, you got to do this, you can't do your homework. You hear them, oh, and they stay on, and they get in trouble. You know what? As older gamers, we get on, we have a, a session or whatever, and we get off, and we go, and we do all the other shit we need to do. The gaming experience for us, as older gamers, is, uh, I don't know, it's like a, it's like the dessert after your dinner, you know? It's, it's a treat. That's what it is. It's a treat. And you've got to treat it as such. But Merlin, uh, no really, no longer makes YouTube videos. Um, he's still around on Twitter. Um, for any of you guys that are wondering what's happened to him. And uh, he's getting... Um, well, he's already into fishing, but he's, I think he's getting into fishing in a bigger way. He really loves fishing. And he's probably thinking... I don't blame him. I think that's something better that I would like to share with my kids as growing up than, than video games. As much as I, I think video games is a great outlet for... Uh, bounding... Oh, not bounding... Uh, Bridging the gap, I guess, between generations of of, of people, because that's, you always find, especially not so much today, but a long time ago, there was always that thing of 
you know, the old people and young people, there was just such a big generation gap. But now with technology, uh, it, it can bring people closer because there's a, there's a common bond. There's something there of interest together. But like I said, Merlin's into fishing now in a big way. He loves playing with his rod and he's a top bloke. And if he ever comes to Australia or I ever get over there to England, which I'm hoping to um, in a year or so, um, I'd love to go fishing with him or catch up for a beer. But, you know, we'll see where the wind carries us. But yeah, it's, a, it's just funny the way some of the young ones carry on. And some of those college students think they're so tough. They want to bag and carry on and, you know, talk you down. You can talk me down. You can call me anything you want, you know. I'm on there to play and have fun. And when I do, I enjoy it. And then, you know what? I'll go back to my life and my beautiful wife. And you can go back to your bedroom, your hand, your t- box of tissues, and your Playboy magazines. Because i gonna tell you right now, guys, being an older gamer is what you younger gamers want to be. So the sooner you start showing us a little bit more respect, um, we might let you in on a few little secrets that might help you uh, continue to game through the years. So anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Just thought I'd throw this little random commentary together. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. This has been Rough Sack, and I will catch you guys on the other side.